All right, next two tools we're going to be showing in this episode here are the slip and the slide tool. Uh, y and U for the shortcuts to select those. Uh, so if you want to go from your regular arrow here and uh, choose your slip tool, it's going to be Y. Hit Y and it chooses the slip tool. Uh, what the slip tool does, we talked about the ripple and uh, roll edits here. Uh, the ripple edit, just to quickly define, well, the slip and slide tool are a little bit similar here in, in what they, how they function. Uh, the, what the ripple tool did would uh, change the single in point or an out point of the clip that you're pointing toward while leaving the adjacent clips alone. The roll tool affected both the in and out points of the edit that you were affecting. If you grab this and move it back and forth, it's affecting both the in and out point of these two clips. Okay, now what the slip tool does is as you grab a clip and you drag it to the left or to the right, you'll notice this window that it brings up here to the right uh, in the program monitor. What that is basically, let me grab this and hold it down, is you've got top left hand corner. You've got the, the um, first of all let me explain what, the, what this tool does. The uh, slip tool will change the in and out points of this clip that you're hovering over while not affecting the adjacent clips. It will leave those clips alone while affecting this clip's in and out point. Uh, it's not slowing it down or speeding it up, so it's as it changes the endpoint, point, it's changing the, uh, the out point at the same rate. Um, so as we click on this and start to drag to the left, you'll notice up here in the program monitor, you'll notice that top left-hand window there in the program monitor is a still frame. That is the ending frame at the out point of the clip to the left. And then you'll notice the in and out point changing of the clip that I'm dragging here. You'll notice those change simultaneously. It changes uh, and it changes them at the same rate. So, is it so the clip stays the same length but it changes its in and out point. It's basically slipping this, uh, the in and out points of this individual clip right here. Then you'll notice up to the right, uh, the top right hand corner there, that window, is, a, is the in point of the clip to the right. So you'll notice the out point and the in point of the adjacent clips are not changing, but the in point and out point of this clip is changing. So if you want to change uh, the pacing of an entire clip, that is the way you do it. You grab this. This is used less frequently, in my opinion, than the ripple and roll tool, but uh, the slip and slide are still, uh, it still comes in handy every now and then, um, but it is used far less than the ripple and roll. As you grab it and you drag to the left, you'll notice it changes the end point. It's trimming the end point uh, basically increasing the endpoint and the outpoint as well. If you drag it to the right, it does it in the opposite direction. It makes the clip happen earlier. The endpoint happens earlier and to the left makes it happen later and it changes the timing of the clip. So let me demonstrate that really quick. I did, just did undo to change the, do, undo the change I just did. I grab this, drag it to the left, and now notice she's standing up at the beginning of this clip. So now as we play through, I just kind of mistimed this, but if you want to make this time out properly make the clip duration last the same. I'm going to grab this, drag it, and I can note it. You can notice up there you can get those two clips on the left hand side, the end point, to match. I'm going to get that about the right elevation right about there. Let go. And it matches. Okay, the slide tool. Just click on the slide tool. You can hit U for the shortcut or click over in the toolbar here. What this does is it's kind of a little bit of an opposite of the slip tool. It will grab a clip and it will not affect this clip's, the clip that you grab, it will not affect its in point or its out point It'll, or its duration. It will keep it exactly the same. But what it will do is as you grab it and drag it to the left, notice what it is doing. It just changed the adjacent clips. This one actually does affect the adjacent clips. Um, so it just affected this out point and stretched this in point it trimmed this out point while trimming this uh, in point, this out point here while trimming this in point over here. And uh, you can drag it either way. That stretches this in point while, uh, or sorry, stretches this out point while collapsing this in point. So what that does is, it, and it will leave this clip right here alone. It's in and out points alone, but it moves it on the timeline, keeping the in point and out point the same, and changing the adjacent clips as you do that. So you'll find re purposes for doing that. I find little purpose for using the, the, the slide tool every now and then I'll use it, the slip tool as well. Like I said, the more common are the ripple and the roll edits. Um, but occasionally you'll find reason to use this within your timeline here, just to slightly change. And oftentimes I find it handy when you're using um, 
when you're just changing it by a couple frames. And we will actually show you the trim the, the trim window here in a little bit as well. In one of the episodes, we have a trim window that we'll be showing that helps you fine tune and do trimming uh, with tools such as roll, ripple, uh, slip and slide, um, where you get some really nice fine tuning features. Uh, and that's in the trim window. Uh, okay, next episode, we're going to be finishing off the uh, toolbar, showing what the pen tool does, the hand tool, and the zoom tool.